Hello everyone, this is Ben with Lakeland Office Systems. In today's video, we are going to be installing a Lexmark print driver for a copier printer device. Okay, to start with, we're going to open up a web browser, and we are going to go to Lexmark.com. So we get on Lexmark's website, we're going to click on Customer Support, and under Drivers and Utilities, click on Drivers and Downloads. Okay, in our example, we are going to be installing a print driver for an XS748. Uh, you would want to, you do need to know at this point what your model number is and type that in accordingly here. So ours is going to be XS748. As you see, it will populate. You just click on the uh, model number there. Operating system, ours is a Windows-based computer, so we'll click Windows. And then for version, we will need to know what type of Windows we are running. Ours is a Windows 10 PC, but we will need to know what bit it is. So we'll come down here to the right, or to the bottom left corner, right click, go to system. Again, it does show us that we are Windows 10. Under system type, it does show that we are a 64-bit operating system. So if yours was a 32, it would say 32 there, but since this one is a 64, that is what we will download. So we'll close that out, hit the drop down here, and we will select the Windows 10 64-bit. And then under language, we will do English. Hit submit. Okay, you will see several uh, different drivers that have popped up here for us. The one that we are wanting to install is going to be the Universal PostScript 3 emulation print driver. This will be no matter which Lexmark you are installing. Uh, this driver will work uh, for just about all printing aspects. So you will want to make sure that you do download and install the Universal PostScript 3 emulation print driver. So we'll click on that. And then we'll simply click down. Okay, now that we've downloaded, we're going to click run. Okay, with the license agreement to accept that, you will have to scroll all the way to the bottom there, and then click Accept, and Start. We are going to be adding this via TCP IP address, so we'll put a dot next to that, and we'll hit Next. Now at this point, you will need to know what the IP address is for your printer. Uh, the easiest way to do that is if you do have a uh, Lexmark device uh, provided by Lakeland Office Systems, is to go to the screen of the copier. This is actually the same screen that you would see on your copier there and select the Lakeland logo. And once you've done that, you will see in the middle of the page there the IP address for the machine. In our example, it is 192.168.3.225, and you will need to know exactly what that is. Yours more than likely will be different than mine, so make sure that you write down exactly what yours, your machine says its IP address is. So you will need that. And then we'll simply take that IP address and we'll type it in right here. So it's 192.168.3.225. Okay, and we'll hit next. Okay. Now on printer name, you can leave it as it shows right here, which is ours is Lexmark Universal uh, version 2 PS3. Or you could change that to something else. Let's say that this was a small printer that was on Bob's desk. You may want to put Bob's printer. Uh, or you could just leave it as it is. So we'll hit next. Okay. It has installed now. We do not want to share this printer, so we'll hit next to that. And I do want to leave that as my default printer. Simply click Print Test Page. Uh, at this time, it should be printing out a Windows test page if it has installed correctly. Click Close, and then Finish. And as long as you did receive that Windows test page, then our print driver has installed correctly. Hopefully this will help walk you through setting up and installing your Lexmark print driver. If you do have any questions, please call us and we'll see if we can help you with that.
Thank you for watching.